In this module, I'm going to go over Word's Export to PDF feature. What this feature allows you to do is take your Word document, which can include table of contents and hyperlinks, and convert it easily to a PDF document, and it saves that information in it. So let's go ahead and go over to our sample document. Now this document has a table of contents, it includes headings, and it includes a hyperlink to the web. So we're going to go ahead and convert this document to a PDF, or export it to PDF. The export feature is in the backstage, so we're going to click on the File tab, go to Export, and click the Create PDF button. Once we do that, it's going to prompt us to save it to a location and give it a name. And then after that, we can choose other options. For instance, we can check to open the file after publishing. We can optimize it either standard or minimum. And we can go into our Options dialog box. From here, we can choose a range, what to publish, and what non-printing information to include. Now, even though this document has a table of contents, I'm going to go ahead and create bookmarks based upon the headings to show you how it does that as well. I am going to uncheck the document properties because I do not want to include that with the document. So we'll click OK and click Publish. Once we click Publish, it's going to go ahead and publish it to PDF and save it to your system. Here's our document. Here's our table of contents. And it kept our links, so if we click on any one of these lines, it will take it to that spot within the document. Let's scroll up. Our hyperlink will also take us out to the web. And let's go over and take a look at our bookmarks. Excellent. Here are the bookmarks it created based upon the headings within our document. So if I click on one of the bookmarks, it will take me to that section within the document. The Publish to PDF or Export to PDF is a great feature if you have a Word document that you want to send out. The nice things about this feature is it will keep your hyperlinks, it will keep your links within your table of contents, and if you use the heading styles within the document, it will create bookmarks off of it. So you do not have to have a table of contents within your document to create the links. If you've got a contract that has various headings within it, it will create the bookmark so people can navigate easily within that document. So as a quick review, let's go back to our sample document. Remember, Export to PDF is in the backstage, so you need to go to File, Export, choose Create PDF, and then select your options before publishing.